you know, let's not get drunk on the label empathy. Let's actually do the empathy, not just like throw around. Anyhow, I'm going to get riled up again. Next one is outcomes over output. A lot of designers, especially the ones who develop, have this notion and focus on the outputs. And then I say outputs is the shipped software or for us as designers is would be mockups, wireframes, features, and all the random tangible bits, you know, things which we actually craft and we think that pushing these pixels is actually gonna result in something meaningful. But in the end, it's not really either being shipped or it's not being shipped at the state we want, or it's actually just being ignored altogether, or maybe your UX or some sort of design suggestions are just outright being, you know, thrown away. It's almost a recipe for disaster in your own development because intrinsically you're gonna burn out you're gonna be less motivated to actually contribute everyone is gonna become like an enemy if you focus just on outputs the team morale is generally gonna dwindle and you're not gonna get anywhere as a team because you're gonna be focusing on churning bits left and right instead of reflecting and being deeply understanding of the things again empathy the wise so what's the alternative well the alternative is to focus on the outcomes transitioning from being a production house production machine as a designer into being much more cognizant and effective designer if you want to get more done as a designer you need to consider the outcomes how can you change the customer behaviors for the better so that it results in a desired business goal so that it ticks those two boxes at the same time then the outputs don't really matter this is where designers when we focus on outputs alone on production of the wireframes on doing research for the sake of doing research on producing ui assets and wireframes left and right they have this massive blind spot if you solely focus on the outputs you're always going to remain a pixel pusher and this is not in any kind of like a derogatory way it's just in a way that you're not going to have that influence you need to manage the stakeholders to produce more value than just what your mockups can deliver you're never gonna be able to evolve into let's say experience designer or service designer or actual ux designer if you are doing let's say now just ui design or you're doing something else you need to focus on outcomes and then figure out what the output should be because maybe it doesn't even need ux involvement maybe ux is gonna mess everything up maybe ux can advise on some interface options maybe there is no interface and no interface is needed i like let's say government.uk uh, gov.uk approach where the digital services cover only what's needed and they're okay with designing let's say forms and printouts if necessary if their users need that because ultimately it's about the value we deliver the outcomes we achieve everything else is just a mean it's just a tool like how how well you craft your uis and push pixels doesn't really matter that much in the end is just an asset which is gonna age and is gonna need to be redesigned soon enough the book on this subject and really important one is is outcomes over output by Joshua Satan and he's basically outlining this pick it up it's a short book you can finish it in like what is it 40 minutes I think and another question could you say a bit more about paper forms in UK I'm asking because I'm close to disagree do paperless approach which should be a priority not to mention the data protection archiving purposes and you're absolutely right like paper is a wild example but they chose it because you know all of us as designers we we're drunk if idea that we need to design apps left and right and ui is the king like digital product is the king but in gov uk scenarios and i've been working on several different uh, services before gov.uk approaches to design things for all it could be accessibility inclusion there's audience who are not as tech savvy their audience who are let's say are in aging population you need to consider where they are they might not have wi-fi at all which i experienced myself where a certain user category didn't have no connection to the internet how would you capture the information from them if you need the government to know something about it you know what the solution was the process where a person a specific person like a postman would go door to door knocking and receiving that information just like what census would do in like regular scenarios where you have people coming in you could give them a phone you can maybe install a wi-fi uh, connection or receiver or some sorts beamer or whatever you call it right that could be another thing but you need to consider holistically what would actually improve that and arrive at that conclusion what the outcome is desired what's more most viable which is the cheapest option for it to be successful of course 
at that point you're not gonna arrive at anything ideal and you shouldn't aim to arrive at anything ideal because there is no such thing as ideal solution there is just solution at the given time co being considerate of all the different things and being cognizant of actual user needs but if you get my example there's gonna be corner cases which you might need to address or there might be even a big major use case which you might be, need to address where the users just need something else than just a digital mean and that's why i'm like throw it away like outputs are important but don't think just about delivering mockups wireframes uh app designs uh, style guides and something to hand over to developer don't get bogged down and kind of like you know get drunk on the notion that ux is all about digital design and wireframes and and even let's say well I, i'm not gonna put research there but you know you know what i mean when i say it's interface it's the ui it's the mobile apps 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 for this app for that nobody needs a new app they need the better ways maybe they need some sort of you know frictionless process which is automated so there's less influence less decision support needed less interaction from the user that would be ideal and this is where we're probably heading eventually but you get my point that this all all those different apps are just tools it has to be appropriate it has to be meaningful